They finally arrived. So I took the plunge, I bit the bullet, spent the money, and I got a set of Copic markers. So this is just the basic set, it's 12 colors. I've never used Copics before. I know these are the most popular markers and people have been asking me about them since I started this YouTube channel, so I thought I had to try them at some point. I used Prismacolor markers in school a little bit, mostly just for sketching and stuff. It's gonna be fun to try and make a finished illustration with these things. I have no idea what I'm gonna draw yet. I think before we get into all that, I need to test these out, see what the colors look like on paper, because I know markers can be a little tricky. These colors aren't really what's gonna show up on the paper, so I'm gonna test them out a little bit, and then once we see the colors, we'll be able to figure out what kind of drawing to do. Okay, I'm excited to test these things out, so let's get going. All right, so I'm just using regular Stratmore smooth Bristol board as the paper. I didn't do any research about what is the proper kind of paper to use with these Copic markers, so I'm just using what I got. I kind of expected that the, the darker colors, like these blues and violet, would come out darker, but then some of the colors like the forest green and the burnt sienna are coming out lighter than I expected. So I think that's a nice surprise, but also when you're spending eight bucks per marker, maybe that's not a good thing. Hmm. All right, so I got my color cheat sheet done. I know what all of my colors look like on this paper, and I've heard that these Copic markers, what makes them really cool is how they can blend together. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to do that. I'm not totally sure if this is the right way. I'm laying down the lighter color and then the darker color and then going back over to blend the two together with the original lighter color. I think that's how you do it. I'm not totally sure. All right, so yeah, this blending stuff is pretty tricky. I think it might be a little bit easier if I had more colors to work with. So instead of just a darker blue and a lighter blue, if I had a medium blue in there that I could blend all three across, I think that would be a lot easier. All right, the last thing I wanted to do was do some little drawings with these brush pens to see how the markers interacted with the ink from these pens. I wanted to test out to see if the markers bleed. So unfortunately, I accidentally deleted the footage of me drawing and coloring in the little wizard and skeleton dude. Both pens definitely bled a little bit, um, but I think that's just because I didn't let them fully dry, so I'm gonna assume that if I am patient enough and let the inking that I will do on this illustration dry, that the Copic markers will interact just fine and everything's gonna be okay, I hope. Okay, so I'm not loving the blue and the purple colors I got in this set, but I do really, really like the orange, red, brown combo, and then the two greens together. So now I gotta figure out something cool to draw that has oranges and greens. Hmm. This happens all the time. I'm looking around for ideas somewhere and inspiration strikes, not from right in front of me, but from on me. So this shirt is Frog from Chrono Trigger. The Frog. So this one was designed by one of my favorite t-shirt designers. His name's Drew Wise. I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can see more of his stuff. It's really awesome. I have a ton of his shirts and he does a lot of great video game, vinyl design, all kinds of cool stuff. So maybe I could do Frog and Chrono from Chrono Trigger. Frog would be the green, Chrono would be the orange with his hair. Uh, come up with some fun design like that. Let's go have some fun with some markers. Time lapse time. Yeah.
First time Copic marker illustration done. I am really pleased with how this turned out. There's a few problems, but I think I'm in love with Copic markers. I, I understand why people are so obsessive about these markers now. I don't think I'm gonna turn into one of those people that has a huge rack of every single color, but I'm definitely gonna get more. And I think I recommend not buying a set. I think if you're just starting to experiment with Copa markers, I think it's better to go to a store that has a bunch of different colors and pick out ones you like, ones that fit into your color style. So yeah, I think buying individual is the way to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a bunch of new blues and reds and more of the colors I love. All right, so let's talk about some of the things I still need to figure out. So the first thing when I'm looking at this drawing is, uh, one, it's a little bit off-centered. <laughs> that I should have been paying more attention to. Uh, the second thing is I still need to learn how to draw hair and I need to learn how to color it as well. So it's not just learning how to draw, it's learning how to color hair. I have no idea. But really the main thing is figuring out the right paper and figuring out the right brush pen to use with the Copic markers. So there was definitely some bleeding and I waited like an hour and a half for the brush pen to dry and everything. Maybe I need to wait longer, I don't know. And then the paper, the darker, colors definitely bled quite a bit on this paper so I think I need to do a little bit more research to find out what is the proper paper to use with Copic markers. If you use them often and have a paper preference, leave a comment below. I'm definitely going to be using these more so I need to find something that's different than my usual pen and ink paper that I use for basically everything. And then the last thing is getting better at blending the colors together. I think having a wider variety of colors is really gonna help me with blending. So I'm gonna keep experimenting with that more. So yeah, I am super stoked on these Copic markers. I get why everybody likes them so much. Being able to put down really, really bright, solid color with markers is awesome and the, the tips feel really good. They don't feel like they're wearing down super quick or anything like that. M the brush tip I got seemed kind of small. I think maybe there might be two different types of 
brush tips? I don't know, I gotta look into that more too. I almost wish there was uh, like a small brush tip and a big brush tip instead of the chisel. I don't know, I, I think the point is I need to do more research on Copic markers, but this first time experience was really fun and I can't wait to do more. If you have any questions about any of the process from this video, leave a comment below. I always answer questions down there. If you'd like to see more of my drawings, check out my Instagram and Twitter. I try and post stuff there almost every day. And also check out the link to my Twitch channel. I stream big art projects on there that take a bunch of time and I can explain my process super well on the Twitch stream. That's a great place if you have questions about general process. I'm on there twice a week, drawing fun stuff, happy to answer questions as well. All right, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Keep drawing.